it's you again. Ready for another round of utterly absurd poetry? Well, you've come to the right otter. Let's dive in, shall we? There was an otter named Lou who lived in a zoo. He swam all day in an otterly way, and at night he'd cook stew. <laughs> Cooking stew, really? <laughs> we otters are full of surprises, aren't we? This reminds me about one of the classic poets. Shakespeare was the original rapper. His rhymes were tight, but I bet he couldn't beat Bach. <laughs> An otter named Kate had a very strange fate. She found a pearl, gave it a whirl, and now she's got a hot date. <laughs> Well, who knew pearls would be the way to an otter's heart? Noted for future reference. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me about a poetic pickup line that goes like this. Are you a poem? Because every word you say is beautiful, and I don't understand half of it. <laughs> there was an otter named Bill. Lived on a hill. He rolled down one day, in an otterly way, and gave the town quite a thrill. <laughs> Bill always the show-off. <laughs> but let's be honest, who wouldn't want to roll down a hill just for the fun of it? <laughs> Sounds like Bill may be putting things off till later. Like this one from the unfortunate poet. I wrote a poem about procrastination. I'll finish it. Eventually. <laughs> An otter named Jane loved to dance in the rain. She twirled and she spun, oh what fun, until she slipped down the drain. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a dampener on the party. But hey, we otters are nothing if not resilient. Speaking about a dampener, makes me think about this modern poetry well. Modern poetry is like my internet history. Short, confusing, and I'm not sure if I should share it with anyone. <laughs> well, that's enough otter nonsense for one day. Remember, life's too short to take seriously. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to Mudgy the Otter for more ridiculous poetry. Stay utterly ridiculous, my friends.